Hey guys, how's it going? Thomas here. Somebody was asking me the question, what does my garrison look like? And do I use my garrison even though we are in the Legion expansion? And the answer is yes. Let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to our garrison. And I clicked the wrong one there by accident. But we're going to go ahead and jump to my garrison and we're going to check it out. So your garrison is from the Drainer expansion. And, you know, really there's no reason to go back here or really do anything. Um, you know, I have naval yards. I have shipyards. I have some stuff that I do. I don't really do it a whole lot. Um, but there is stuff that you can do in Drainer. And because it is from the last expansion, you can still make money here, um, especially when it comes to making things like, um, you know, you know, bags and materials for like bags and stuff like that. If you're a tailor and different things like that, stuff that's going to benefit your profession. So um, if you look okay, here, I pretty much have all the, uh, you know, like these guys here, these mounts and all this kind of stuff. I pretty much have all this stuff bought. And, uh, you know, you can do Please your, come over here to your blueprints, upgrade, and, you know, level all your different stuff up and your different buildings and things. And, um, some of the stuff, let's just click right back here real quick. See, some of the stuff I have in here, like my stables, I do have my stables and stuff because, like, if I'm riding my mount in Drainer, I don't want to get knocked off my mounts and just different, uh, you know, perks and stuff like that. And this, most of the stuff I have it really cranked up and allows me to have more followers and stuff. But, you know, I really have not been here inside of my garrison or I really never even come in here now that we are on the Legion expansion because there's no purpose. There's really no point. Uh, we're a little overgeared uh, and stuff. There's no uh, reason. Uh, we do have, um, as you guys can see here, I have not been here since God knows when. So we have a, a full cache here of uh, garrison resources. So we'll just go ahead and collect those while we're here. Uh, we do have uh, the different quests and stuff like that you can do. You can get from these guys when you do the uh, quest lines. You have your battle pack trainer here. We have our statue things. We have inns that give us weeklies and stuff over here. Um, you know, our garrison. The main reason I do come here is this is where I typically will, um, you know, I will teleport. I use this mainly because of this stone here. And it is the reason I do use my garrison because I do have this stone where I can just teleport here. And um, I can get stuff out of the mailbox. But more importantly, I invested hundreds of thousands of gold to have an auctioneer in my garrison for the purpose that I could just talk to this guy. And uh, he only applies. Keep in mind, he only exists on one character, whatever one you put him on. And I actually have two characters that I have hit this guy on. And what you have to do is you have to get what's called mods. So if you type in mods here... Um, and typically it is the, like, you have to have, you know, the auction modular. These things typically sell for 300 gold. They're up to 8,000. That's ridiculous. There's no reason they should be that much. Um, I wish I had a bunch of them in the bank right now. And then typically you make them next. The universal language mods that you actually see right here, these things sell for over 100,000 100, gold usually. So they're very expensive people. Um, I used to dealing these all the time I'd have like three or four of these on my account but they tie up so much currency but you know whenever you do sell them the payoff is 30 40,000 gold and the, the way you get these is you actually get the parts and stuff inside of your um, inventory and everything um, you actually buy the parts and stuff and you you know and once you get the parts you can assemble these and it takes like three or four different parts you know for make the universal language mod so a great example is if we would just do let's say shift here on this we could just do like language mods universal language mod modules and um, we'll just go ahead and we'll just actually just put module right on there so like that and uh, this should put all the back end stuff on here. And no, it didn't. I'm trying to remember how I do this. I can't remember. It's, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Um, let's see. Let's say, like, uh, let's try this again, shall we? So we'll do the universal language mods. And I think it's actually, you might want to do just remove the mod. Okay, there we go. Now we have it. There you go. So what we have here is this is the back end. So we have this here. You have to buy one of these, one of these, and you have to get one of these. You have to put all this stuff together. And typically these uh, right here, if you're lucky and you deal in these, you'll see somebody will put one of these up for 50,000 gold. You buy it and then you buy the other two parts. You throw it all together real quick and boom, you make some serious bang. And, uh, you know, you can make good money off of these. You really can, you know, dealing in these. Like this one here has got two hours left, 31,000. I could just jump on that right now and get that for 31 and they're selling for 35, 35. And I can make a easy 4,000 gold once I sell it. Um, the prices jump up and down on these. Um, the, the risk to me, it's, it's really high risk, high stakes. Um, you know, but there's damn good money to be made in dealing with this kind of stuff. I'll tell you guys that now. This is something that does... Uh, does go up and down in price with the economy um, 141,000 I mean 100 you know 41 percent right now so it is kind of high but you could definitely put the auctioneers in your uh, garrison you can also do stuff like that but I mainly use my garrison for auctioning 
Um, we also come over here. We have uh, some vendors here we can do like uh, tailoring. We can do a few other things here. We get herbs here if we want. We can do the mines. We can do the fishing outside. We have um, an access to a quick bank oh, right wow. here. And honestly, running back and forth, um, you know, doing stuff like that, accessing my bank or even using the, accessing the guild bank there when I'm in a guild um, is, is relatively convenient and stuff like that. And then we have all of our mounts and stuff on display here, a good portion of those. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my garrison for some of you those who have been asking. And the question is, should you really invest in building up your garrison now that we are on Legion? And my answer honestly is no, not unless you want to drop 150,000 gold. Um, it's basically $15 to build your garrison up. Um, if you guys want to do it, sure, knock yourselves out. But it, honestly, it's just cheaper to just teleport to or go to Stormwind or somewhere. Save you a lot of time, hassle, and headache. Um, I would rather invest 150,000 gold into like a mount like this, the Yak mount. Uh, this is a 140,000 gold mount that you get in Pandora. So um, I would rather spend that kind of gold on something like this than putting an auction house in here. And I have two auctioneers and auction houses. And the reason I have them is because I dealt in those mods and stuff constantly, modules constantly and constantly work to build my uh, my garrison up and my auction and my gold and stuff. And I think it cost me, when I did this, you know, 50,000 gold. Not a big deal. I was making 100,000 a month or more. Now, 200,000 gold, it, that's going to take me, um, it's, gonna, it's over 200,000 gold investment. So to get that kind of gold right now, um, you know, that's two, three months of work right there. So um, even with the new expansion, I mean, the way I make my money, um, you know, it's just, it, it, the, the way I make money, it's just kind of slowly going down and decreasing gradually, so less effective. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed checking out my garrison, and I'll catch you later. Peace out, YouTube. Please subscribe.